Death Come True. There are three things that I really enjoy. A time travel story, full motion video, and Danganronpa. So when I heard the creator of Danganronpa made a full motion video game that had a time loop in it, I thought it could be fun. I will say it was different. I don't know if I would say it was fun though. For long time watchers of my videos, you know my love of FMV games. I even spent $500 to have my picture in a popular FMV series. If you didn't see that one, watch my review of Tex Murphy's Tesla Effect, where you can find me and see what happens when you click on my picture. I have reviewed a lot of these games. Some have interesting plots that make you really want to replay them. And then there's See She's Red, but we're not getting into that one right now. The one thing they all have in common is the main story is usually about 30 minutes long to make it replayable. The story this time around though takes about an hour and a half to finish. However, replayability is not really an issue since it's about a time loop and every time you die, it'll just take you back to a choice you didn't take. So while it is an hour and a half, that's all wrapped up in going back in time multiple times. The story is about a gentleman who wakes up in a bed in a hotel. He has no memory of who he is or how he got there. I guess I didn't see that one coming from the Danganronpa creator. It's kind of like their go-to thing. I'm trying to think of a game that they make that doesn't have that. He quickly finds out that he's a serial killer and he has to deal with a policeman. When that goes badly, he's killed and time resets and he wakes up in his bed again. Now he has to make different choices to find his way out of the hotel and figure out why he's even here in the first place. You could die in multiple ways in this game. One of the best things that it does is that it doesn't reset back to the bed every time. So even the game realizes that you don't want to replay everything from the start. It'll often just go back to the last choice you made. Most of the time these choices have been between two actions. However, later on they'll go to four. Like I mentioned before, this is quite long for an FMV game. In fact, I would say it was more of a movie than a game. Sure, you could die and end the movie fairly early, but the title just reset back to where it wants to put you, unless you want to hit quit. So there really isn't much choice into this. There are a few scenes that will only show if you do certain things, but most of the time that choice is only there to give you a different way to kill you. Now there are only two endings, and the two endings are very different. What choice you make to get those two endings come in the final minutes. It's very obvious when you need to make the choice, and how you get each ending. I do think one is better than the other, and while it might not be the happiest, I think it makes the most sense. The whole thing is in Japanese, and it's not dubbed at all, so you're going to be reading the story, and it actually looks pretty good. It runs fine on the Switch, and I didn't notice any slowdown. Now, it's no shock to anyone who's played any of the other games from this creator that there's a twist that is very obvious. It doesn't make a lot of sense, and you should just go with it, but it was kind of interesting how they got there. Death Come True is okay. As long as you're going into this that it's a movie and not a game, this will be enjoyable. Don't expect a lot of moments with choices that matter. Sometimes they actually only give you one choice and it feels like it's only there to justify calling this a game and not just an interactive movie. In fact, the choices actually don't come up as often as you might think. You might go like five or six minutes before you even see one. If you want to try this out, I would wait for it to go on sale. You'll enjoy the mystery one time, but you won't want to bother to replay this to see the second ending. You can probably just look it up. As a movie, it's good enough. As a game, it's not so good. So if if you can find this on a deep sale, I say give it a shot. <laughs>